this uh, me and brother anthony we made a video against this bozo called christian samraj yeah he was very popular in leipzig he's now in india he's a pastor of a lutheran church and while he was in leipzig in germany he started a home group yeah we that used to take place in his living room which is my living room now yeah <laughs> and uh, there were a lot of people a lot of people used to come and i think one of the one day there were like 35 people 35 people in my living room they were sitting like this yeah and some of them were atheists some of them were buddhists some of them were hindus yeah and while i was in the home group we we have this tradition yeah once in a year we have a fight site a weekend away we pick a place somewhere outside of leipzig spend the evening friday till sunday uh, once a year So in 2017 if I'm not wrong we had a fight site somewhere close to Dresden it was a old house and with a backyard and during this time there was a hindu couple who was, were coming to the home group it was a hindu couple husband and wife yeah and we decided to take them to the fight site they they came along to the fight site yeah to the weekend away so we planned games activities uh, bible reading bible discussions uh cooking together cleaning up together all sorts of activities for these two days and then uh and then we packed our bags it was over it was sunday sunday afternoon we were leaving back and we sat in a circle like this okay we sat in a circle and each person uh opened their mouth and uh, started to share how the past two days were okay what i'm going to walk away with and of course it's the usual stuff some people say i'm more motivated to spend time with the lord i'm motivated to spend more time in prayer i want to better my relationship and you know, all this usual stuff which they don't nobody ever ends up doing it's just a high right so the turn fi- uh, finally came to these hindus you yeah, know this couple and this is what they said looking at you guys the love that you have the love that you have for people how you practice your faith we are also motivated to practice our faith in a more meaningful way we are also motivated to take our faith seriously buddy hey let me tell you this if your christianity is motivating hindus to become better hindus if your christianity is motivating atheists to become better atheists There's something wrong with your Christianity. You are an idiot. You know, as I was sitting there listening to this couple, I was like, "Man, we are failures. We're a bunch of failures. We just spat on the face of Jesus." These guys are sitting there and say, "We want to be better Hindus." <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly what this Christian Samraj, this bozo was. I've seen, I've walked with him. I was I was spending a lot of time with him. I saw a lot of Hindus you know greeting him coming to his home spending time with him talking to him and they would always walk away thinking oh this guy is such a better christian among all the other christians i want to become a better hindu among all the other hindus that was his gospel false teacher see is is that the gospel what we preach are we going telling people become a better hindu become a better muslim that that will take them to hell you know people christians today have converted have have exchanged have changed the gospel of jesus to the gospel of goodness gospel of repent of your sins they're trying to get people to live a good life they want to bring hindus to their group and they're trying to get them hey turn away from your drinking habits turn away from your smoking habits you know be a good person Hopefully you know that you know, I've I've heard Christians say this oh this particular Hindu he's such a good guy god will bless him god will save him why because he's a good person yeah what kind of a gospel is that? what kind of a foolishness is that see we shouldn't fellowship with unbelievers we shouldn't fellowship with hindus don't become friends with the world the bible says friendship with the world is enmity towards god See our friends are Christians like minded born again believers these are my friends these are the people whom I'll tell my problems to these are the people I will take counsel from not from some hindu 
not from some atheist. You don't fellowship with them, okay? See, when there are churches today, there are home groups today, there are Bible studies today, which purely focus on, hey, we need to build communities. Jesus' message is about inclusion. So let's include, let's call in the Hindus, let's call in the Muslims, let's call in the Buddhists and the atheists and have fellowship with them. Let's have tea with them. Let's have dinner together with them in, 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 in a closed group in the church. And that's what's happening with Germany. Churches in Germany have become worldly because they want to fellowship with unbelievers. Pastors are encouraging their congregation members, why don't you go have a beer with your unbelieving friend why don't you call him for dinner and have a discussion with him and all these things they don't do any soul winning see and people who go have fellowship with unbelievers christians i'm telling christians who go have fellowship they become worldly they get into alcohol they get into movies they get into pop music they get into filthy talk with the unbelievers that's why we shouldn't become friends with unbelievers sorry no of course, I'm not saying that you should be a jerk at work. 